Hello everyone, and I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Originals. And for today's episode, we will be featuring this Triassic Monster, the LEGO Compatible Custom Primeval Gorgonopsid. But first of all, I'd like to thank YouTube.com Audio Library for this awesome background music. And of course, please like, share, and subscribe, and also hit that notification button. Just click on the icons below. Thanks everyone! The Guesses PC Contest winners will be announced at the end of the video, but for now, here is how you can join. First, click on the Extinct Bricks icon and then click on the community link to see all my posts. Fast, powerful, and equipped with deadly weapons. The permanent period at last, yes! And now we start with the making of the Gorgon Upset. And as usual, I start with kit bashing. This is consisted of uh, two um, base figures, a raptor, and uh, another one. And uh, then I moved on with sculpting. This will actually bring out the general shape of the figure. And then I primered it using uh, Bosley number 68 in gray. And then moved on with the base colors. Now, the base color of the Gorgon of Seed is actually uh, very similar to that of the Gorgon of Seed in Primeval. So, I mixed some colors, which is a grayish brown, and of course, uh, some tones of gray as well, using this particular um, a photo in reference so you can see here that most of the brownish colors are actually on the front section and then moving to the back would be mostly gray once if i can give you i guess uh when you want the figure to have some sort of a gradient from a certain color to the next would be to have at least one color that is similar to both and then just mixing it up with several colors that will differ so after that, I moved on with several details such as uh, including such stripes and also speckling on the legs as well as the back of the creature. Then I move on with more uh, darker colors such as this black um, or grayish black stripes on the back and then also uh, painted the nails and also the face of the creature. Then I move on by painting the uh, inner of the mouth as well as the teeth of the Gorgonopsid. When you move on with finer details, I would recommend to use a fine tip brush so that you can get on the crevices and also the small corners of the creature. And then I move on with other uh, details such as the eyes and also the nostrils using this permanent pen. And that's about it for the making of the uh, Gorgon Upset and this is how it actually looks like after all the details have been uh, included. And now it is time for us to move on with some bricks. You can do it and let's vault in! The Gorgon Upset actually consisted of 2, 4, 6, 7, 7 parts to it. Let's start by connecting the head to its lower jaw. And here it is. Give it a little bit of force so that you can uh, put it in. And there you go. Now let's attach it to the body. Now what is left to be done would be attach the extremities. Let's start with the front legs. And then the right one. Now let's move on to the lower legs or the four legs left and then the right one and that should complete the figure my Lego compatible custom primeval Gorgon Upset now it's time for us to move on with a closer look and hello again of course our fellow here Usher is joining me to present the Gorgon Upset now the Gorgon Upset here is actually based off from the primeval Gorgon Upset that you see here on this picture it's actually very large, very much similar to the size of the Nilstorm Venture. Usher will be coming back later for some size comparisons, but for now, let us move on with the closer look itself. 
looking at it at a 360 view you can see that the um, symmetry is there and the colors are very well uh, anticipated or as uh, seen from the head to the tail it has this um, saber tooth on its uh, mouth so if we can open it you can see it very clearly here it's very long however my saber tooth tiger here has a longer saber tooth <laughs> Well, anyway, so uh, moving on with the Gorgon of Seed, uh, it has this really big mouth and this really big head compared to its body. The detailing on this uh, figure is actually very much similar to that of the Primeval one. Uh, it has these stripes and speckling on its back uh, as well as uh, other details on the legs and extremities as well. For the articulation, you can actually twist the head like so and open its mouth and close it as well. The extremities can also move. This articulation actually allows this figure to move in several um, poses such as running poses and launching poses, things like that. So it's really um, a really good figure in my opinion. And now we move on with the size comparisons. And of course, Usher is coming back here as a size comparison with this uh, Primeval Burger Nopsy. For those of you who have seen the Primeval series, you would uh, definitely know that the Gorgonopsid there is really large. However, it is actually based up from the uh, Gorgonopsid that you see here, the Inostran Densha, one of the biggest Gorgonopsids uh, species. Okay, so since this is already uh, done in terms of comparing it with the uh, um, species, let us now compare it with other creatures that I have so far from the Triassic period. And first, we have here the Placerius. Now, the Placerius here is relatively small compared to the Gorgonopsid, and the Gorgonopsid can easily open its mouth and then bite the Placerius from the neck and then kill it with just one bite. <laughs> well, anyways, that's it for the comparison with the Placerius. Let us now have another comparison here. The descendant of the largest creatures, I mean land creatures that ever walked the earth. This is the Platyosaurus. Now, comparing the size of the Platyosaurus with that of the Gorgonopsid, you can see here that the Platyosaurus is much longer than that of the Gorgonopsid. However, the um, thickness or the bulkiness of the body is relatively the same. The Platysaurus is actually also a herbivore very much similar to that of the Placerias and can be also a prey to the Gorgonopsid, which is a carnivore. And those are the herbivores that I got so far for the Triassic period. Let us now move on with the Postosuchus. Now, the Postosuchus here or the Crocodilian from the post is actually one of my favorite um, Triassic uh, customs so far. It is longer than the uh, Gorgonopsid, but the Gorgonopsid is uh, quite uh, higher or taller than the Postosuchus. Both are carnivores and I like them very much. Just a little bit of trivia, it was said that the Postosuchus can actually walk on all fours and also on uh, hind legs. However, it is now believed that the Postosuchus can only walk on four legs. Let's move on with the uh, comparisons. This is the Dermetrodon. Now, the Dermetrodon here is definitely larger than the Postosuchus. It has this very colorful sail on its back and uh, the head is really quite um, amazing. It's uh, as almost as large as that of the Postosuchus or I mean the Gorgonopsid. And uh, it has this really cute smile on it. <laughs> Now comparing these side by side, you can see that the Demetrodon is taller than the um, Marconopsid. However, if you take a look at it closer, it is actually um, taller than the Demetrodon. It's just the sail that makes it taller actually. Now we have all the Triassic creatures I have here, but I think I forgotten something. I can remember maybe... Oh, I forgot the Herrerasaurus, but that's okay. I'll just include him next time. Okay, so the videos of the other uh, Triassic creatures we have here is actually available, so take a look at them as well after watching this video. Let's have a roll call. This is the Platyosaurus. This is the Postosuchus. My Demetrodon. The Placerius. 
and of course my primeval gorgon upset. Again, please check out my Extinct playlist so that you can see other customs that I've made so far. Your suggestions on new customs and species are always welcome as well. Now let's move on with the last looks on the Gorgon Upset. The name Gorgon Upset actually came from the Greek words Gorgos meaning terrible and Upset meaning appearance. Thus, it means the terrible face. It doesn't look so terrible to me. <laughs> Anyways, it actually lived in the Middle Permian and Lake Permian period around 265 to 250 million years ago. It is under the Gorgonopsia family. It grew around 16.5 feet and weighed around 700 kilograms and could reach up a height of 6 feet as well. Usher here is just feeding the Gorgonopsid riding his scooter. It's really fun doing this in the morning. And that's about it for the video on the Gorgon Upset. I hope you like it. It is now time for us to announce the Guess PC Contest winners. And as usual, we have 10 lucky picks. And here they are. Jurassic King. Guyo Fuchs. Jemil Nurdurani. Dinosaur Terror. Daniel Palma. Parker Soros. Dinosaurus Imperius. Dino Royal Cruise. Livio Russo and Alan Grant. Congratulations everyone, and now for top 10 winners! Top 10! Becky Patrick! Top Bizarre 9! Arts. Top 8! Grand Medu! Top Shiro 7! Ado. Top 6! Eduardo Oliveira! Top 5! Nice from YT! Top 4! Jurassic Breaks! Top 3! Sean Saber Cardanilia! Top 2 The Jurassic World Gang And Top Pokemon three. Congratulations everyone And I'll see you on the next Get PC Contest Also our babies Moira and Asher Has their own vlog now The Adventures of Moira and Asher Please watch their videos And subscribe to their channel as well Thanks for the support everyone Please also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and here in YouTube. And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar!